Almost. Okay. Is this frustration kind of building three straight 1-1 one -one draws that you can't get the extra goal that you need to get three points? Yeah, I think it's definitely frustrating, especially this game, because I think that overall we were the better team. We had most of the possession. Um, just shows that not always the better team wins in soccer, and it's a frustrating sport. They had their one opportunity, and they finished it. Um, we just need to finish more of our opportunities. And uh, you went to a different line, four, four uh, defenders to start off with. How did you think that worked for you? Um, I thought that was really well worked really well for us in the first half. Um, I mean, we kept possession like the entire half pretty much. Um, I think we switched then to a three back in the second half just to try to get more numbers forward. But overall, I think three back, four back, I think we're secure back there. Yeah, towards the end, you're playing on the, the, the box. You were playing at the top of the box. Um, no, yet y'all weren't able to get any shots in on the set pieces at the end. What needs to happen for y'all, you know, despite out shooting them by like an 18 to 1 margin, I think? What needs to happen for y'all to start scoring goals? Um, that's the question. Isn't it? Um, I just think we need to get more shots like on frame and more like testing the keeper. I think most of the times we make the keeper that we're playing against look like an All-American sometimes. Um, but I think just getting them on frame. Anson preaches low and across the frame, and if we can put that into practice, then I think we can score the scores. How did the knee feel today? It felt good. Um, yeah, I didn't really feel it during the game, so I'm pretty much back. Did your left knee? Yeah. And you, you set out the Wake Forest game just to rest it? Yeah, um, I just wanted to be fully back for this game, and I was having some pain, but I'm feeling way better now and ready to get going. A bit of physical nature of this game, you know, confrontation, pushing yeah. around. Yeah. Um, how do you deal with that? Um, well, I mean, we're always going to have our teammates back, and when somebody fouls towel like that, obviously we're going to be upset with it. Um, but overall, I thought we kept our cool and stuff. Like, obviously, we got some yellow cards, but I think that's the nature of the game when people are fouling like that. Yeah, Anson said he wasn't frustrated with, you know, the tie today, with, or he was happy with how y'all played. Do you think, you know, you agree with that somewhat? I know you said you're frustrated about the third straight tie. Um, I understand what he's saying, just because we played really well and we deserve to win. I think that's what's frustrating to me is, like, I know that we were the better team and I know that we deserve to win, and yet we didn't. That didn't show up on the scoreboard. But, like, overall, I am very pleased with, like, how we played. How can you carry this into senior night? And how are you feeling about senior night? First? Um, honestly, pretty emotional, like, I can't believe my time here is like coming to an end and my last ACC stuff, but um, I think we're ready. I think that if we play like we did tonight, that we can win. Great. Thanks, Mason. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so I asked you against the, at the Wake Forest game, yeah. you know, how you felt about the 1-1 one -one tie. Yeah. How again tonight? How do you yeah. feel now? I mean, I think as a collective, Damon actually asked us in the circle, like, how do we feel after that? And um, a lot of us were saying frustrated um, just because we, whenever we tie, we normally outplay. I think if we look at possession again, I think I mentioned this in the Wake Forest game, it's we have the greater amount of possession, corner kicks, you know, stats show us in our favor. So, I mean... I mean, it's definitely frustrating, but also we're confident going moving forward after this game just because that was a really good performance from all of us. Yeah. Can you take you through that goal? That was kind of a weird yeah, uh, angle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't really know. I think that it's kind of one of those things where you kind of you know where the goal is in the back of your head, and you know that Macy's always going to win those headers if it's a one-on-one. -on -one. So um, just it, with the combination of knowing, having confidence in Macy and knowing my – or being aware of where the goal is. So. It's just kind of a fun, fun tap in. <laughs> so, so I know you got the hand wrapped. Uh, yeah. You, you broke your pinky against Yeah, Duke. yeah. It's, I mean, it's a lot for a broken pinky, but I mean, I think they're just trying to be cautious. Nothing special. What, what about the physicalness of yeah. the game and the confrontations yeah. and yeah. That, that little incident there with uh, El Pruta? Yeah. I mean, I think where there's a little fire in all of us and I mean it just kind of takes a, one too many fouls to, to bring that out so I think once one person gets into it we all have each other's backs so I mean, we kind of all have to get into it. So are you surprised that Sam did what she did? No, not at all. I mean it's kind of standing up. It's what you have to do. You're standing up for your teammates so I don't blame her at all. I don't, did she get a yellow from that? Yes. I think it's worth it honestly. I don't think my coaches would agree with me but I think that's worth it. <laughs> not exactly an equal offense. Uh, offense.
Sorry? When you consider what the Notre Dame player did and then what Sam did, it's not exactly equal. Yeah, but still, <laughs> that's kind of sending a message to not do that again type of thing. He talks about dominating the box score. I think y'all outshot Notre Dame today 18-1. to 1. Yeah. Um, what, what's it going to take for y'all to get some shots in the goal? I think um, to just keep shooting. That's honestly all you can do and have confidence that one of them is going to find the back of the net. I mean, we're all playing together. We're all working hard in and out of practice. So I think that it's just trusting the process at this point. So you don't think it's a matter of taking more quality shots rather than... No, I wouldn't say that. I think... Um, I mean, at least for me, I think I could probably take, personally take more chances just because, you know, half chances 50% of the time, you're like, oh, shoot, how'd that go in type of thing. So, I mean, in terms of that, maybe half chances taking more of those, but I think that we're pretty smart about when to when to shoot once not. Do you feel pretty confident in this stretch? I mean, it could, some teams, you score one goal each in three consecutive games, it could start to be a mental thing, but you don't think that's happening with this team? No, I really don't. And I think that it's one of those things where, People go through spells in the season. I mean, like, my sophomore year it was we couldn't score. So, I mean, it's not that we're not scoring. It's just that we're not scoring enough. So, I mean, it always could be worse, and I think that we're just looking at the positive side of it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.